Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. This is Papa Meerkat and we are back in Borderlands 2. <clears throat> Alright, am, am I going to get Michael at all? So far he has not appeared on camera for me at all. I mean, I've looked for him almost not every video, but every other video. <clears throat> so I started playing uh, Borderlands 2 on... Uh, the handsome collection on PS4 just for the heck of it and I started Maya character there he is there's Michael this is what he looks like I found this out the way a lot of fellow vault hunters would get some use out of it he gives you random guns sorry I got no more loot on you if you see me again later though I might have something for you this shield don't look right. This looks like the Firehawk shield, but it has like this extra bit. <laughs> I don't know what this gun's supposed to be. This knife looks like the knife that uh, Mordecai carries in the first game. It's got something written on it. But yep, if you see this character in Sanctuary, this is Michael. Oh yeah, look at this amazingness. First fire while zoomed as a sniper rifle? Yeah. We found him finally. Yay. And while I was playing that on a PS4, the Borderlands 2, I started Maya. And I uh, went to Lynchwood. I was level 14. And that place I couldn't think of the name of, named Lynchwood, where the sheriff woman is. That's the girlfriend or wife of Handsome Jack. Or was you play her as uh, or you play her in the uh, pre sequel as a gunslinger? Max health region, there's no pluses though. Is it the same as mine? Can't even tell, there's so much junk. Oh, yeah, this is what I have. <laughs> I forget what I have. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do, I don't know how many uh, missions I have, let's see here. Uh, natural Selection Annex, Pink Slaughterhouse, Opportunity, we haven't been to Opportunity yet. The Dust. Yeah, this is in Lynchwood. But I need more missions in Lynchwood. We can do this mission real quick, the Bane. But... What I, why I was mentioning Lynchwood is that on the PS4, Lynchwood is level tw 19 to 23 level in the first playthrough. So it's kind of tough being level 19 to 23, and I went there as Maya level 14 on the PS4 version. <laughs> and, and I actually cleared the first part of Lynchwood. As a level 19 or level th 14 of Maya at level 20 enemies. It is not easy, but it was fun. Get your health and shields right here. But I'm level almost 30, so that place isn't going to be nothing to me. But we're going to go over there anyways. Let's see here. I need to go back to here and let's equip something else besides this. There we go. Speedy launcher. Just got so much random stuff on me. It's funny playing this game twice on two different things. This is on PC. Well, you're just equipped in the same gun, dude. I'm trying to find something that's going to be good. I don't have the the, the best of items. <clears throat> It seems like I have better loot on the uh, PS4 version. I have, literally, I have, I, I'm a big fan of Borderlands series that I have Borderlands on a lot of different systems. I got Borderlands on PS, uh, or Xbox 360, which I can backwards compatibility on Xbox One. Because I have that one collection that has all the games plus all the DLCs. Let's change our look. We've been the same thing forever here. I don't have very many heads here. Yeah, let's do this. There we go. 
do something else on the old skin here. All gray, that is oh, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, let's head to Lynchwood or the dust. I might go and see if the Black Queen's there. She's going to be weak now, but I kind of want to see if... I, I saw her on PS4. I tried the area twice, and there, there she was. I was like, you could have showed up on the, uh, you know, on the computer version. What's on that box? Oh, what's in the box? Yep. When I see, I came here early. It's it's before uh, in the uh, PS4 version. I came to the dust before going to the Frostburn Canyon and the uh, blood uh, Bloodshot Stronghold. You won't find better merchandise anywhere else. I made sure. And it's it's funny, but it's actually quite fun going to Lynchwood. It's very tough though, so keep that in mind if you want to do it yourselves. But it's a good source of EXP. I'll go ahead and sell that Gwen's head. It was useless. Uh, max health. Max health. I can get rid of that one. Shield capacity. That's pretty nice, I guess. Well, well. I keep not doing anything. Let's go do something. Guys, what am I doing here? Right. Get you one. Let's see what do we have? What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, I want something that's gonna be vibrant. Well, that's vibrant. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's go to Lynchy Wood. Hey, dude. Oh, sorry. <laughs> when I got back, uh, I got back into playing. Uh, but I, oh yeah, I was going to say, uh, I own, I'm uh, such a big fan of, uh, Borderlands series that I have it on everything that I can get it on. I got PC, PS4, PS3, P Xbox 360, uh, and I even own a, that, uh, weird one on the, uh, PlayStation Vita, the handheld. That one tends to lock up a lot, though. I, I would love to play it on the Vita, which is Borderlands 2, which comes with three of the DLCs, out of all the DLCs, I think. Hey, dude. You gonna drop me anything today? Level 26, huh? Moby. Mowgli. You're all armored up. Drop, drop. There you go. And they dropped nothing for me. I was hoping they dropped something on camera for me. Another Lyuda. Maybe a electrical one. Or just a straight damage one. Now let's see if the Black Queen's down there. Jump on the ball. Nope, nothing down there. She spawns like right there. Yeah. Ain't no point of going down there now. Matt, let's head to Litchwood, guys. Let's do it. And that's where the bane is, of course. Gotta be careful of the other vehicles. Just teleport to vehicle, please. Ooh. Uh, probably starting tomorrow, we're going to go into um, uh, Opportunity, which is the city built by Hyperion and Handsome Jack. So we'll be starting that tomorrow. It's a pretty good sized place, so it's going to be probably taking up the next couple episodes. This is Lynchwood, or the entrance to Lynchwood. I went to the Fire Sniper because it's just bandits, rats, and uh, skags. There's a secret boss here. Well, it's not really a secret. There is a mission to do the, the boss fight here, where you gotta fight a mother. Uh, what was it called? A uh, mother skag. I don't. I'm not gonna check that chest. It's gonna be weak. Weak, I tells you. 
Lynch wound. This is uh, basically a like an old west style town. This is a sheriff. If you are here, that means one of two things. You're looking for a nice, quiet life. I'm gonna watch you pick out your last hanging from one of my gowns. Given how boring things can get around here, I do hope it's the latter. Welcome to Lynch. Watch out for that train. If you're standing anywhere near that, it'll kill you. Oh, we got missions here. Okay, cool. 310 to Kaboom. Cool. And breaking the bank. Every day, the sheriff of Lynchwood sends whatever iridium she's yanked from the mines back to Jack. That stops today. You're gonna blow up the train that she uses to transport the stuff. Get to the demolition depository. I'm not going to do this mission. Uh, I might head towards that mission, but I think I'm going to go with a... Uh... Oh, the Bane is at the end, though. Why is it showing it in the dust still? Oh, that's probably where you start it, then. I have rumors of a powerful curse gun known as the Bane. Marcus Kincaid to uh, told you that a bandit named Horus might know where it is. You might, or you should track it, Horus down. Okay, so I gotta go back to the dust because you the, you have to start that mission in the dust. Somewhere in the dust. I thought it was just straight straight to Lynchwood, but I think the Bane mission basically leads you to Lynchwood. There's another mission out here somewhere. Okay, so let's go back to this. And this gun right here is funny. No, it's not useful. Was I just over there? Really? I was just here looking for the Black Queen and I left. Wasn't even watching the little mini map saying, Oh, look, there's an item I need to go out there for. Yep. It's not quite where the the Black Queen was, but I could have seen the little diamond on the little mini map and be like, oh yeah, I gotta go over there anyways. Would love to have another. Uh... Is that a Chubby? Oh, I thought I saw Chubby. Wow. Sniper rifles of these guys are not great, but it works. You know what's great against these is the uh, unkempt herald, because they, even though they're armored, they cannot block the explosive damage. <clears throat> Let's bring out rocket launcher. <laughs> you want explosive damage? This is the epiphany of uh, explosive damage. <clears throat> I'm wondering what that quest is. I see a quest somewhere out. Oh, don't spin the camera, man. Clan oh yeah, the clan wars. Okay. Reach the dead drop. Oh. Look how fast those rockets are. Uh, that's the rocket launcher. I don't want those slow rockets no more. Oh, Chubby. We found a Chubby. And he's dead. Instantly dead. How oh, that rocket launcher is pretty. Ooh. 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 Level 23. Not that great of a level, but hey, it looks neat. Ooh, purple. Cracked Sash. Hey, this is the return of this, uh, sh uh shield from the first game. We'll take, we'll just take it all. Aha, here we go. Audio tape. I haven't done this mission in a while, so that's why I went straight to Lichwood. I was just like, Yeah, he took the bane. It worked like a charm against the spider ant. But the curse. <laughs> if you're hearing this, find McNally. He may have left me for dead, but he doesn't deserve what the bane will do to him. Nobody does. Yeah, don't. <laughs> oh, the bane. It's a bane, alright. But yeah, I had a lot of fun yesterday. Yeah, I died three times, and one of them was just weird. And I'll show you what I mean when I get back into Lynchwood. Like I said, that train kills you. 
and I wasn't even near the train and it still killed me and I don't know how <laughs> alright let's go after the next tape <laughs> hey y'all So this, you know what I call this truck? The puke truck. The vomit truck. It looks like vomit. <laughs> well, we found a chubby. I'm happy about that, actually. I don't. You don't see those very often. Is it up in that base? Nope. Good. I don't want to go up in that base. Oh, it's down here. Oh, this guy drops a legendary. Okay, yeah, I remember this dude. What is on my back? Was that a unicorn? A pony? Alright, I am very curious right now. What's on his back? It's a two-horned uh, unicorn. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Alright. McNally? Yeah, this guy right here, I think, could drop a legendary. Start the clock! I'm incoming! Yeah, he dropped my dick. Scott Luther! Gar's coming from Lynchwood to buy it. That idiot's got no idea. He never believed the stories about the curse. Boy, oh boy, is he in for a surprise. I might try to farm whatever he has off camera and show you guys the next episode. But I can't remember what it is. I can't. Uh, haven't gotten it in a very long time. I think I've only gotten his legendary once since I've played this game. But I know he drops one. But yeah, the guy in this little house, after on this mission for the Bane, he'll spawn. And uh, what's his name? Hor not Horace, but whatever. McNally. Yeah, he'll drop. I think it's a legendary. Assault rifle. It's not the madhouse, or it might be the madhouse. You got nothing valuable. Every time I've opened that dang thing, you get just trash. I've done. I've, I've opened that thing for years. It's just trash. It's always trash. Boost. Back. Back to Lynchwood. Where I wanted to go to begin with. <laughs> Sorry about that. You were just in the way. Alright. Back to Lynchwood. For some reason, I think in a while back I was talking about this place, so I just couldn't think of the sure, name of it. Here with this week's the Lamber Twin, $5,000. Slab King, $25,000. Slab King? Alright, what can we sell? Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and sell my old regular sniper rifle. I might use this one, his slag. That slag doesn't work on itself. And what I mean by that is like if you slag an enemy, this gun won't do any more damage to that enemy. You have to switch to something else. Usually with sniper rifles, you're at a distance. Might keep the rocket launcher equipped. I'll go ahead and sell that. It looked nice, but eh. A crack sash. Can't remember what this thing even did. High capacity? Oh yeah, it had like a very fast recharge time. Yeah, I remember in the first game what this thing does. It has uh, one of the fastest recharge delays in the game. It like refills quickly. And look at that recharge rate. It's more than the capacity. And that's what makes this uh, shield special. It, it recharge delay is very small. The uh, recharge rate is this, uh, a lot higher than the actual uh, capacity. Therefore, it recharges immediately after this 1.14 seconds runs out. And it just instantly goes back to 630. Instead of having to refill like normal shields do. For some reason, I couldn't remember that. Alright, Lynchwood, you ready for me? 
Well, these guys are level 27. Wow. They are my level. Is this place level up with you? Or it depends on when you start this area. It might be when you start this area. Then it follows your level. Because I haven't been here. I haven't been here at all in this let's play. So that's probably why. <clears throat> so since I've never been here until now. It followed my level. But since I'm now here, it'll be always 27, 20. Around this area. Good EXP, though. What the heck were you doing, dude? That guy just jumped right into that train. You see that? That was weird. <clears throat> Hopefully I can at least complete the Bane before the end of the episode. <clears throat> I don't know if uh, I don't know if I'll be starting Opportunity in the next couple episodes because if I want to finish off Lynchwood, I got several missions to do here. Here, have that. So this <laughs> This rocket launcher is actually quite a lot of fun. There's some dude out there you are. <clears throat> got like some serious throat problems right now. It's almost hard to talk. And my voice sounds really nasally for some reason. Maybe because my nose is always stuffed up this time of year. Winter time, you know. Cold, gross weather. Alright. Off we go. So I need to go that way. Yep. So I go this way and up, or I have a. Uh... There's no entrance here? I thought there was. But there is chests and stuff to get here. There's a toilet up there you can grab if you wanted to. The way to get this toilet. Jeez, that guy kicked my butt. Don't roll out of the way, dude. I need you to stay where you are. Thank you. What? Why did I jump off? I flew off of there. You're not supposed to die on this. Well, these guys are actually uh, pretty dangerous still. Oh. Hide behind toilet. Missed three rockets, gate got one rocket. Alright, so yeah. Actually, everything's leveling up with me. Look at this. Reduce damage for explosions. Okay. Let's head this way. That hole right here. Just leading towards where the bane is. Or at least the next segment of the mission. Hope I can finish this before the end of this episode. Because I my videos usually stay around 40 Rivers minutes. Might be coming. Civilized is opportunity or not to be believed. Let Jack have his ivory tower. I came to Pandora for action. They gave him pretty good EXP, it's a good place to farm. Yep, I'd like to see you do it, man. Just just do it. But I know at some point 
Yeah, I'm not going to do an opportunity that is main story area, but there is quests there. We're going to do it if I don't get finished with this area in this episode, we'll be finishing it up tomorrow and Wednesday. But if we finish it early, then yeah, I'll, then I'll go to opportunity. But we got a lot of missions or quests to do. I'd like to get caught up on the quest before we move on in the story. We have done a, uh, several story missions up until now. So we're going to take a break from the main story. We'll just move on with the quests. Well, that really missed. There we go. Yeah, I love the Borderlands series. I can't wait for Borderlands 3. But I still love Borderlands 2. I still love them all. Even though pre-sequel was kind of a disappointment when it came to farming, loot, and stuff. It wasn't quite the same. It's still a lot, a lot of fun. They gave you a new mechanic with the low gravity and whatnot. So I just don't like how the uh, how they messed up the farming. How can you mess up farming in that game? They tried to rectify it by going in there and like, oh, you can make your farm them now, but some of them you can't. I don't understand that. It's a looter shooter game that you take away the looter shooter part. Hard to door open over there. Yeah. I should have started as Maya, but I wanted to try Axton. Because I always play the same characters all the time. I always think Zero is a cursed mission or cursed character. Why? It's because me and my brother was playing uh, co-op when the game first came out. I pre-ordered pre uh, Borderlands 2, and uh, when it first came out, me and my brother went straight to ca uh, couch co-op. And uh, while me and my brother was playing our characters, the game it, like it killed my PS3. And uh, that's when I was playing Zero, so I just don't play Zero anymore. So my, uh, me knowing how to play Zero is like nothing. <laughs> I know it's like a specific way to play him, so. That's why is every video I have to do a voice crack. Can you guys hear that? That was a crazy voice crack. Too. I was popping Meerkat to Mama Meerkat and back to Papa Meerkat within a half a second. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hey. Shot shotgun time, I guess. Let's see if I can handle it. It's over a thousand, over a thousand. Did you enjoy that? You Right when you're about to throw the gun, they they run off every time. That's what you use rocket launchers for. Bring you back. If you get knocked down, oh my rockets are getting low though. Yeah, it was a bad idea doing the the shotgun <laughs> just got knocked down pretty quick anything up there no nope. I don't know where all the borderless symbols are so at a certain point in the game it just stop looking for them not unless I run into them by accident then I'll pick them up there you go sheriff those are the guys who robbed your bank last week I accept cash all right Here's your 10,000. The warrant says 20,000. The warrant also specified alive. Fair enough. The hell are you looking so sad for? You're still making more money than anyone around here will see in six months. Ah, it's not the money. It was just easy, you know? Too easy. What's the matter? You didn't get enough glory in the military? Oh, there was plenty of glory. Just the kind that winds you up on this hellhole of a planet. Angel, this is the sheriff. Right now? Yes. Rumors that Lynchwood might get the Hyperion Truth Network on the line now. Hmm. Why is the dead when you can't buy from me? I came to see you here. Always sell junk. I'm gonna keep the crack stash. 
These shields look better than mine, but I'm looking to see if I find anything better. Alright, which sniper or which rocket launcher is better than the other? Let's see, this one does 4,000 times 3. 2,000. Yeah, I'll take the 4,000 times 3. Goodbye, rocket launcher. Alright, moving on towards the Bane. We're gonna see if we can finish, at least finish the Bane part. Before moving on. Trouble. Hey man, I haven't even made it out there yet. You guys are already shooting at me. Dude. Thanks. Can you please switch? Thank you. Wow, as soon as I come up here, just get knocked out. Here, have this. Yeah, this place is actually quite tough. Came here way later, and yet it's still tough. Because the, the lowest level this place can be is level 19, no matter what. So if you come here like level 14 like I did yesterday, as Maya, this place is level 19 to level 23. But since I came here as level 27, everything matched my level. But this place will always stay this level from here on out, I think. If I do believe so, it's going to stay exactly where it's at. For the rest of the remainder of this list, uh, let's play of this playthrough. The toilet. Mm -mm -mm. I wouldn't even want to touch that toilet, you know. But there, okay, so here's a uh, chest behind that electric wall. You gotta follow the line. It's down there somewhere. I think it's down there. Was that just there, though? Can I get to the switch from you? Can I hit that? Yes. <laughs> Barely, but I got it. Don't throw grenades at me. Dude. Yeah, oh, rocket launcher. Three thirty-six times three. <clears throat> but my other one's better, huh? Free rockets, sweet. I need some new rockets. I'm gonna see a shop over here. I wanna at least finish the getting the bane before we exit this episode and I'm already at thirty something minutes can't take this place fast or you're gonna get knocked out as you saw that when I went with a shotgun and moved forward try to take on stuff a little quicker I died very quickly because they're matching my level they do pretty good amount of damage so there's a scissors shop here where oh it's below me in it dang it yeah I'm looking for the invisible shop but it's not. It's literally with, right below me. I just had one weapon. I think there's a chest down here. Yep. Uh, cooldown rate, corrosive damage, second one health. Nothing too great. No more chests at the moment. I tried to jump up there before. Almost made it, but I think you just go through it. Here we go. Yes, you have to get rid of it. It's bad. And when you guys see the bane, you'll know why. It's bad. And funny at the same time. Oh, a new skin I haven't found. Oh, my goodness. Can't believe I found the crack sash. That's pretty cool. Came from a chubby. Didn't drop any legendaries, though. That's what we want, right? We want the legendaries. Alright, so I gotta head back. Oh, yes, that's uh, Animal Rescue. That is the, uh, 
with Skag. You gotta go fight for the mother. You gotta go through this entire area to get the parts or the uh, map and whatnot. And then you gotta go head back because I know where the bane is. It's pretty far away from here. But this place is like a big circle besides this area, which goes to a little dead end. But the main area is like a big circle that leads back to where the skags are. And the mother skag that you gotta fight for the baby skag. The sheriff is offering 500 bucks for every slab scalp. The slab king's none too happy about what she did to him. So keep your eyes open. Oh, slab king. Which is brave. Later on, this place kind of becomes annoying because you start fighting the rats. And nobody likes the rats. Look how fast my shields go down. It's so quick. Really? You know, it shocked me even though you were gone? Thanks, man. Is that door protecting him or something? Yep. Really, dude? Wow. Where are you? In front of me, this way. Where I can't see you for some reason. But yeah, the enemies here just they you know, as you move up, more enemies come out. They just keep coming up. And little holes and doorways and whatnot. Really dude, you gonna ship me on the other side of the map over there? Well I can do the same thing, man. Alright. Here's that little skag. The baby skag. You gotta help him out. Well we'll do this later. I'm gonna leave it as is so I can come back for it. But he's, uh, you gotta take him back to his mother, and then the mother wants to fight you. And these are the rats. I think in the second playthrough, maybe, they changed the name of the lab rats to another type, which is the R-O-U-S, Rats of Unusual Size, which is from the movie, uh, um, Princess Bride. And they become worse when they hit that level. Die, dude. I shot you so many times. Health was empty, but he just survived like four shots. I'm running out of ammo. The only ammo shot there is, I think, is back there at the beginning. And these rats being what they are, they're pretty accurate with their guns. And they're hard to hit. I do, I do not like the, the rats at all. They're actually quite annoying. And pretty much the rest of this area is just rats. So down there's bandits. Up here's rats. Until it comes back around to the skags. Well, we are kind of close to the bane on this side because there's a you can go where the skags are you can go up but that's probably the longest way around this is the shortest way around we're going to meet a new enemy pretty soon how about get some more sniper rifle ammo we are out of time on this video but we're going to let this video go on until i get the bane and then next episode, which will be tomorrow, I'm going to continue doing the stuff in Lunchwood. We got a couple more missions to do here. And in total, I got four. 
One of them being the one back there for the uh, skag. Hey, stop rifle ammo. And I haven't, I haven't fought that boss, the mother skag, in years. Because I had trouble fighting her before, so I just gave up on it. Let's see if I can actually handle it this time. She's actually quite tough. Oh. And you get a very small range of fighter in. Good job hiding behind there, dude. Man, I'm shooting every shot and missing every shot. Wow. Wasteful, wasteful, so As soon as you jump down, 50 enemies pop out. Too many lab rats. There's the new enemy type. Where you got a dude riding a skag. Killed off your buddy, what are you gonna do, huh? <laughs> Ran right into a gun being thrown in your face, how about that, huh? I would say, in, in all, I think the, the most hated creature to fight in this game would be rats. Because they're, they're hard to hit, they're random as heck, and they're just plain annoying. And I just hiccup up in the middle of that sentence for no reason at all. Because my, my body's like, nope, you want to record? Let's ruin it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try to get this Bane. I'm almost out of time and I'm literally out of time. I gotta go do adulting things today. Or actually every day. I am an adult after all, right? After all, but like slurring my words together. Try to get some ammo here. It's that sniper ammo. Yeah, you probably notice I use sniper a lot. Oh yeah. I do tend to stick with sniper. All right. I got to another game recently that I haven't played in a long while. Which is uh, Oblivion for uh, Elder Scrolls 4. Dude, just what the fuck? Wow. One dude can pretty much almost kill me and it takes me forever to take him down. Oh, you have only two health left, but yep. You're not dying. Every time she kills it over and over and over and over and over again. Um, why am I getting headshots? I'm shooting them right in the head. At least two of those shots. Way too much health, and you're just absolutely annoying. Not as annoying as that Jacob boss fight in that dusk. Check out that episode for old school Sundays. Here's the finale for dusk. And yes, I was frustrated a bit. Oh, I see you coming. Explosive shots just like that one dude. Pumbaa or Timon or whatever their names are. Yeah, my sniper ammo. Come on, give me sniper ammo. Now, those skags are uh, armored, so I might have to switch to the corrosive. The dude on top is not, though. Yeah, I keep opening up all the stuff because I'm looking for ammo. The shops around this area are very limited. That's what makes this place kind of tough. 
most areas in the game always have like a shop, a mid shop somewhere, or a couple of them, so you can get like restock of ammo or a new shield or something. But in this place, nope, they're all at the pretty much at the beginning. I would love to have a new shield, but I want a specific shield. I don't just want to just pick up any old shield. Should I use that crack sash? But it has way less, uh, it's got literally half of my capacity. Well, not exactly half, but very close to half of my capacity I got right now. Which is not good. They're dropping my shields pretty quick at that much. Hmm. That's the hard part. Why did I shoot and nothing happened? I think the Lyut is getting weak. It's only like level what? 12? 13? Come on, Skags. Get up here. I only killed one dude with my grenade. I was hoping the Skag guys were going to be up here. Come on, this way. Don't run back. I even hit any of these dudes. This is not, not too easy. I don't know what the max level of this place is. 30, maybe? Uh, where did it spawn me? Okay. Alright, let's move on here. The main is over here. It's, we're very, very close to it now. I'll try to uh, not have any encounters up to the bane. That's almost impossible, I guess. Because I'm out of time on this video, I gotta keep it short. That's why you're really worth it. Look how fast my shield goes down. What's the point? What is dropping at that fast? Seriously, what is dropping my shield that fast? It just instantly disappears. Inventory, we got level up. Hmm. What's that other one down here? Pretty sure gun damage and movement speed while the fight for your life. That would be maybe in handy. Kill skill. Killing aim dramatically, incre uh, dr dramatically increases your fire rate and reduces recoil for a short peak time. Increase the number of shots your saber turret fires in each burst. Uh. Let's go ahead and just try to finish that one out. Alright, let's head towards the bane. Let's get this thing. Bane and thing, thing and a bane. Kind of rhymes, slightly. Alright, here we are. It's at this grave. Hmm. There it is. Blue. 
Ask Marcus, uh, Marcus about the gun known as the Bane. You have successfully tracked down the mythical gun known as the Bane. Congratulations. Maybe. <laughs> That's electric. Yep. Let's go equip this thing real quick. And this gun is uh, is cursed. Alright, let's put it where the B is. But it says right here, it says, In Spain stays mainly on the plane. 200% <laughs> weapon accuracy. Mm -hmm. oh, four. There it is. <laughs> Yeah. You see how fast I move? This is my fastest walk speed. You cannot go any faster than this. This is the curse. Besides the constant screaming of many, uh, many uh, psychos. And it's <laughs> I got him. <laughs> Yep, this is the mythical Bane. It's really annoying. Every time you reload, it says something. Every time you fire every bullet, it says something. And you walk at, like, really slow speed. Reloading. Alright. Yep, that's the Bane for you. Yeah. Alright, guys, well... That's a funny gun, but it's not worth the using. It's just, it is funny. So. Got him. Hey, dude. I want to take you down, bro. Thank you. Get rid of them. These guys are really destroying me. Maybe it's just accent. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Got him. Maybe accident is just uh, is not that great of a character, who knows? Or it's just me. It could just be me. I'm pretty sucky. If you guys watch any of my Let's Plays, you know I'm pretty sucky at games. <laughs> Alright, well. I think I want to end the episode here. We are out of time. I wanted to at least finish the Bane part. And we did. And you got to see it. In all of its wonderful glory. And tomorrow, in the next episode, I can't say tomorrow because this could be like three years from now. But in the next episode, what I'm going to do is we're going to finish up this area. I might play a little bit off camera just to level up a little bit so it's a little bit more fair. Even though they're the same level as me, their damage is scaled a lot more higher for some reason to make it a challenge. So I'm going to level up a little bit more so we're not struggling through here. Maybe only like one time or two times. But I'm not going to do any of the mission stuff. Just knocking rats out and bandits. But yesterday when I was playing this on the PS4, I had a lot of fun with Maya doing this place. Even though it was really tough, it was fun. And new skin. Can't believe us. after all these years, I'm still finding new skins. Alright guys, well, uh, if you'd like to become part of the Meerkat Nation, hit that uh, subscribe button and join today. I welcome anybody of all creeds and all ages. And shut up. And uh, if you like my uh, commentary, and you find it helpful, funny, or entertaining, hit that like button to show you support. And if you didn't, still hit that like button because I'm still. It's a learning process for me. It's going to take a while. Give me a chance. And. Uh, Next to that subscribe button, you see a bell icon, you hit that bell icon, you become part of the Meerkat Nation Notification Squad. And when that happens, everything I upload, you will not miss because you get notifications of it. Alright guys, well, each and every one of you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.